From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. The Earthworks Ethos. I'm smitten with this microphone. Listen to this. Call your local Allstate agent for a quote today. Allstate, you've never been in better hands. I had to do 56 of those tags earlier this week, and I wish I had had this microphone. Listen to that. Are you kidding me? How is this a $399 microphone? I am blown away by the Earthworks Ethos. What I really, really like about it is the speed of the capture, the speed of this microphone, the immediacy of it. It is so detailed sounding, so, so realistic and lifelike. I was not expecting this when I bought this microphone. I actually did not like the sound when I first plugged it in. I was like, well, this sounds kind of woolly and it's really, you know, it sounded like a, like a more detailed SM7B. And an SM7B is not really, you know, like my, my groove. So I was like, uh, I don't know. And I thought, no, I'm going to have to send this back. And I'm like, no, wait a second. And so I started carving away at the stone with the EQ, a little bit of EQ on the Neve 88RS. And this started to emerge. This sound started to emerge. And I think that's the thing with this microphone, is out of the box, you may plug this in, and it sounds like, you know, SM7B-ish, but more detail. It's going to pick up more mouth pops. And But inside, if you know what you're doing, if you know how to carve it out, you know, a little bit of experience goes a long way, you can find... What's inside there is, is magic, is really great. So I absolutely am so happy that I purchased this microphone. Now, as you notice, right, it looks so cool too without the little cap, without the little, you know, little bear skin. This looks like one of those uh, Buckingham Palace uh, trooper hats, right? So I, I have it without the foam cap. I'm, let me put it back on here. Hold on. Sorry about that. So you notice there's a difference. So this is really kind of the more of a, uh, the woolly sound I was talking about. And, you know, I, I, do, I do appreciate the fact that there are people who are, who are going to like the, the more, um, hmm, the less transparent sound of it with the foam cap on. But I like it without. And this is actually pretty cool. Hold on. Sorry about that. So if you could see, let me see if I can get the light right in there. It's uh, Heard. I can't get it. But uh, so inside this foam cap, the, there is another layer of a different density foam in here that is obviously meant to help kill your plosives. And there's also actually a little tiny pop screen on the end of this, this shell here, the part that looks like the, the, a, a short barrel of an air-cooled like machine gun. So this microphone, actually, I, I took the foam cap off and I was like, that's it. That's it right there. Listen to how detailed that is. Now, hold on. Let me, I want to read something. This is really cool. So there's a document with like, you know, Earthworks Audio about their, basically their, their FAQ. And it says, what are the core technologies of Earthworks products? Speed is one of the simplest ways to describe what sets our products apart from other microphones on the market. For instance, the ability of Earthworks products to capture a complex waveform without smearing in the time domain or missing important content in fast transients. These are just some of the seemingly modest but incremental improvements in our technology that stack together to capture audio that feels much closer to life. So, wow, right? I mean, oh, and this is, this is actually, listen, some people have compared the experience as the difference between fresh squeezed orange juice and 100% pure from a bottle. There's just something about what we do that feels like you are tasting life itself. Taste it. So, yeah. The Earthworks Ethos. It sounds great. <laughs> it really does. I am absolutely, I can totally see using this on commercials, on promos. I can actually really see. And I'm going to have to do some more testing before I get ahead of myself. I can actually see it replacing the 416 in the booth. So, you know, I, I, have, a, I have a troubled history with the 416. So I don't really feel like I sound my best on the 416. But what the 416 is kind of missing, the little weird scoopage in there. And you have to remember the 416, right? The Sennheiser MKH-416, this microphone was designed to record to tape. This microphone was designed, what was it? This microphone is like from the 80s, right? And 
it it's got a built-in EQ that that fits really what would sound better on tape. So overall, I'm not uh, I'm not recording to a Nagra, you know. So I I'm I'm recording in the digital domain. So something that sounds like, and I think Earthworks lays this out kind of really clearly later on in the document. It's like this is not the sound of 50 years ago. This is the sound of today. And, and, you know, as I spoke about over the summer, I believe that really the paradigm of what is what is happening, what is happening in, in voiceover especially, is shifting away from the old school, like really, you know, like really voiceover has changed a lot in the last few years alone, more so than in probably the previous 40 years. And I think really the sound, the immediacy of the sound, again, because we're talking about the increase, uh, increased quality of playback um, in consumer level equipment, even even including the the little cruddy little speaker on your phone. And so overall, this is not just a usable sound. It's a great sound. So the Earthworks ethos. I am definitely going to be talking more about this. I'm going to have to do another, I'm going to do another video soon showing you what it is that I'm doing here. But mostly, it's just a little bit of EQ on the Neve 88RS and then through my regular chain. And then, and then he, oh, here's the thing. Like, add the Oxford in, uh, inflator. I almost said initiator. So we're going to initiate this with the inflators. Add the inflator in there, and you really get aggressive, right? So, I mean, that is basketball season is here. Don't miss a moment on the court, right? I mean, come on. So, all right, take that out. There is, there's a lot to talk about, and there's a lot to like with the Earthworks ethos. But I want to know what you're thinking. So this is really my first uh, demo with it, the real demo. Now that I kind of have it uh, dialed in a little bit more where I like it. So we're going to start gigging with this next week, for sure. All right. What do you think? Leave a comment. Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.